Good morning. Today is day number three, third, third morning wake up in Utah. And I am so tired, but we need to have an early start today. That way we can um, go to a cool place in Capitol Reef. We go on this road up to here, mm -hmm. and then we can four-wheel drive up to here. And so, this is our hike up through Upper Mule Way. Yep. And then Strike Valley is just a little side thing. Cool. All right. Today is the first day in Capitol Reef. We're going to this place called the Upper Mule Way Twist. It is recommended by Uncle Terry and Aunt Julia, and we are headed there right now. We get to use the four-wheel drive of this car, so that is very exciting. It's going to take about an hour and a half, an hour, 40 minutes to get to the trailhead, and then the hike itself is about nine miles, I think. Whoa. We're on the four-wheel drive section. Bump. Very bumpy. I think we're gonna be driving through this uh, bumpiness for about three to four miles. Three miles. Alrighty, we are at the trailhead. Upper merely twist. Let's get going. in the beginning. For future reference, you're gonna see this big rock and there's a fork, you can take the right side. We are approaching another fork. We can either go that way or we can go this way. So what I really like about Capitol Reef is that sometimes you just see a rock like that one just hanging out on the slope. We are almost back to the car and we decided we're gonna do the Strike Valley extra trail because it's only like, I don't know, half a mile and it'll only take a few minutes, but it's not raining anymore. Um, so we're gonna take our chances and add a, like 20 minutes and that's it. Walking on the trail to Strike Valley is like walking to the beach 
because look at the sand. It's like going to the beach. I can feel it. I feel the view coming. Made it. Let me show you the view. drizzling it started to rain so we need to get out of here very quickly otherwise we might get trapped in this place all right catch you later so we got back and I just took a shower before I got into the shower I was like okay I'm sure there's probably some um, blisters on my toes and so when I took off my socks I'm like "Ooh, I want to see where my blisters are and they're, they're kind of intense. Let me just show you the first blister. So this is not too bad, just 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 a normal blister, right? All right, and then I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? Look at this toe. So I was like, mm, is my nail falling off? And then I was like, wait, no, because there's something underneath the nail. And I was like, what's that? Or maybe it's just broken. Or maybe it's just broken and swollen. I don't know. I guess they're just battle wounds. 